so uh, <clears throat> clearly <sighs> this is uh, this is something that is that, that needs to be needs to be shared for the uh, old school RuneScape community. Um, <clears throat> and I've got a, uh, you know, there's a lot of Virgo going on. <clears throat> so since, you know, Virgo is my fifth house, it seems like the appropriate time to, uh, to share this. So what this is going to be about is why bulk items are actually worth more in old school RuneScape in general. And, uh, <clears throat> now, you know, I, I was, the, the argument to this that I got back was that like Costco and and places like that, you know, the whole idea of bulk is to sell it cheaper so that you can, you know, move it faster. And, you know, that's true if you have common bulk. But in this game, there is the Grand Exchange that has been there since, I believe, around 2000. 13-ish, and, uh, since then, there, there are, there are buy limits, there are amounts of items that you can purchase at one time. So, in order to accrue more items than that, you must wait four hours every time you reach a buy limit. Items in old school RuneScape stack. Meaning you can have a whole lot of items that stack in, you know, in one spot in your inventory. And your inventory has 28 slots. So. For someone to take the time to wait for all those buy limits, and they probably have to buy at a higher price in order to insta-buy. Um, so, you know, if someone's taken this time to accrue, you know, like a year's worth of buy limits, there's no reason for someone to sell the item for the same price as you can just go get it instantly out of the Grand Exchange. Now, you know, but JC, why would you want to buy an item, you know, for more, why would you want that many? And the answer is collections. Rich players that play the game that have already maxed, they've already finished skilling, um, that still want to play the game and still want to have something to focus on, something to do. So, they will start collecting items, because the items are worth more than, you know, one gold each. And they will actually, there's actually a reason, a reason to collect junk items in particular, because Or junk items and ju items that don't trade on the Grand Exchange because the, they stack. On the one hand, the junk stacks faster. You can get it from people faster. So you can get a higher amount of one item faster. And like the bigger stack of the item you have, the uh, rare, rarer it is to have that much of one item. And it becomes a rarity on its own. Now, the item on its own, the little like little GE value number at the top, 
that's useful if you're buying under a buy limit amount or sometimes even less but you're not incorporating the time or the effort or what is required to actually get that many of that item it's really not much different than the concept of how much time it takes to get a 99 the skill cape after you get a skill cape or a 99 then everyone's like oh cool you know wow you know you you got the skill cape and then you might say but yeah but you can wear the skill cape <sighs> if you search around on YouTube here or you know reddit you'll see that they, you can show your bank tab you know you can show the contents of, of what's in your bank and you can arrange this you know high amount of items you know to look a certain way or you can create sets you know kind of like an artistic way and also there are certain amounts at which the color changes on the amount um, for instance, when you get a hundred thousand of one item, then it changes to white from yellow. And when you get ten million of an item, it changes from white to green. And you know those green stacks and beyond are, are very rare of an item. So there's where the extra value comes in. It's not necessarily just throwing money away because you can do this when you aren't rich. Because you know that the rich players have this higher value for the stack of items. So you can find a collector at any point. So, because of the kind of core essence of the game is grinding. And like, the amount of time it takes to do something. Um... You know, these, I don't, it's, again, it's not really much different than, you know, being a completionist, like getting all your quests, you know, trimmed armor, like what is the point of trimmed armor? Oh, it looks, you know, while you're walking around, it, it, it looks cool, it's a different color or, or whatever, like, okay, so you'll pay three bill to wear an armor that has like a different trim to it. But you won't pay an extra, like, you know, ten, a hundred, you know, mil for an item that it's a whole different, like, color, and it's, like, someone put, like, a year into collecting it, versus it took you, like, you know, 20 minutes of fighting flesh crawlers to, like, get the trimmed armor. You know? So, like, all right, there's that. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna make another video on this or on something old school RuneScape related at right after this. So, yeah, um, you're gonna do that now. <laughs>